this is like, I don't know, most common small YouTuber thing to do. Um, I think YouTubers, most YouTubers, probably like 80, 90% of YouTubers, they forget about their description after it's written. Uh, that first time. It's like setting up a dating profile. It's like you're on, I don't know, Plenty of Fish or whatever the hell. And uh, you are you know you try to be a little witty or try to be open or friendly or whatever. And it's like, how do I summarize myself in a paragraph? And normally it's while you're in the process of doing something else. I want to go, you know, find a date. I want to upload my first video. I want to add my friends on Facebook or whatever it is. When you're on these different sites and you're like, oh, I have to write a profile. I don't think anyone ever gets to, ooh, I get to write a profile today. Love Lovely. I was hoping this would happen. I don't think that happens to anybody. Uh, maybe I'm just maybe it's just my point of view. But normally when I hit that, I'm like, oh, it's like, okay, I, I already had to create a password. Now I got to do this. Uh, and so I don't think me, many people go to it with gusto or enthusiasm or joy. I think it's just something that people feel like they have to do to check the box to move on to the next step in the process. Um, and so then they do it once, and because it was an unpleasant experience, they never go back. But it's important because, as I'm trying to show here, that's how you display when people search. If your channel comes up as a result, your channel description is what's in the preview. And so that's actually that, that actually can be important. And sure, maybe you're not going to show up a lot in those kinds of searches. Maybe not a lot of people search and filter it by channels and things like that. But for the few that do, why not grab those people as best you can? More importantly than that, uh, it factors into SEO. It factors into the SEO for your channel and even individual videos. So that's something to keep in mind. Keywords that are in your channel description that line up with your videos increase the power of those videos in terms of search and discovery. So that's part of why this stuff is important. A third reason would also be that if someone's watched a couple of your videos and they're starting to get a feel, they think they like you, but they're kind of on the fence, they want to know more what you're about, that's probably the moment they click and they read the full description. And so, again, not a huge amount of people, but let's grab and hold on to those people and sell ourselves to those people as good as possible. In my experience and all my years over YouTube and the modicum of success I've reached on Vacation Impossible, um, I've realized that there's no one trick to YouTube. I'm very sorry, there's no easy trick to it. And I mean, if it was easy, everyone would be successful and it just doesn't work that way as a marketplace of ideas. So uh, you have to do a hundred small things. That's where TubeBuddy really comes in handy. They got their 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 checklists and uh, their best practices and stuff that constantly is reminding, like me, I've been doing this for so long. I'm still constantly forgetting things. Oh God, right, an info Car. Yes, I should do that. Thank you, TubeBuddy. Um, but even beyond TubeBuddy, there's easily a hundred things. I could probably just rattle them off right now. I won't because it'll waste your time. But there's so many different things. And so the more of those that you can get right, that you can get in place working for you, you do it once, set it and forget it. It'll work for you over time when you put in that initial effort. They talk about things like passive income. That's like, that's like rolling the boulder up the steep side of the hill and so you do all this work on the front end, and then you watch it roll down and roll away for miles or kilometers, depending if you're metric or not. And the idea is, is that you kind of make the money as it rolled out, rolls down the hill, and then hopefully on forever. That's the, kind of the premise. Uh, that's one metaphor for passive income. But that can also work for getting subscribers and views and comments, likes, things of that nature. You do the work on the front end, and then you watch the benefits roll in. I mean, if you're hustling like I am and a lot of other people, you're actually not standing there watching it necessarily. You're working on the next boulder, you know, the next the next video, the next thing. But that's the general philosophy behind it. So let's set it, but set it to a really high level so that we can set it and forget it. And maybe it's good to go back and look at your channel description. Maybe once every year, maybe on your birthday might be a good sort of a reminder. You know, it's like... Um, they say that when uh, people who do daylight savings times, they say that's when you check your smoke detector. It has nothing to do with the fact that you're changing the clocks. It's the fact that you're running around your house anyways. It's a good trigger moment. So maybe something, maybe January, you know, like every January, check in, make sure it's still accurate to what you're doing with the channel.